and I would try to find some way to connect with life in um, the nearby more poverty-stricken parts of New York City. And it happened that my seventh grade teacher had become the head worker at the university settlement house at Rivington and Eldridge Streets. So I spoke with him. He was the one person I knew on the Lower East Side. And um, he offered me a job as a so-called community organizer and it was all new to me. I didn't live in the neighborhood. I, I um, knew nothing about community organizing as a skill, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I spent time first at the in the um, the neighborhood. Uh, and then during the summer at the camp in Beacon, New York, that the University Settlement House maintained, and I was an overage counselor, uh, and nearby Pete Seeger and his wife lived, and I first heard the uh, song We Shall Overcome when Pete Seeger sang it that summer. And I said to myself, now I'm going to find a movement that sings that song. <laughs> and so the situation in, uh, in the neighborhood, Houston Street, Cooper Square, was changing. It had a very strong Italian in migration, but it was becoming more and more Puerto Rican. The Chinese were still in the future. And just to give you a flavor of the kind of uh, activity I was involved in, uh, there were landlords and there were tenants and I got to know a tenant named Rodimus Tirado and he and I organized a meeting of the tenants in his building with the landlord who at one point said to us be reasonable and Rodimus said mister you're standing on my foot and if you'll get off my foot, I think I can be reasonable. Now, I met Tirado through the agency of a, a lady who is central to this entire story named Frances Golden, still active, still uh, uh, there was a photograph of her in the Occupy days um, confronting New York's finest. And <clears throat> Francis ran a cl clinic for tenants on Thursday evenings at the settlement house. So it was absolutely legitimate for me to, to or take guidance from her, except for the fact that the uh, city of New York, Robert Moses, wanted to tear down the area around Cooper Union, just north of Houston Street. And the gentleman who had hired me and who was head worker at the settlement house thought well, it might be a good idea because his rationale, it would give low income site tenants uh, a chance to encounter middle class lifestyles and something good might come out of this um, acquaintance. Um, 
my basic problem following Francis Lee was that would be nice if any of those tenants were still in the area because the essence of of what Moses and the city intended and what was happening all over the country was to get rid of the low-income people who were <sighs> occupying these sites and to gentrify to the extent possible and above all to raise the rents. So I felt that, that of the two, um, an itinerant radical like myself found Miss Golden's vision far superior to Mr. Cook's. And so she invited me to meetings of um, what called itself some version of the Cooper Square Alternative Plan Committee. 